what's up guys um I haven't really done a uh, white um, a video against the white power movement in a while and so I kind of figured uh, now is a good time ah what a, what a joy it would be to crack this upside the back of a neo-nazi's head and kill him cause I don't really fuck around really when it comes to those bastards and I would not be afraid to do it I also wouldn't be afraid to take a sniper rifle or any other gun to the back of a neo-nazi's head but I digress uh, the reason why uh, I've got this is because, one, I get mocked a lot by them and not taken seriously by people because I always have an airsoft gun in my hand. Well, that airsoft gun, by the way, is not supposed to, is obviously not supposed to be a real gun. I have said this numerous times, I would not point a real gun at my fucking laptop or have it in a video because then you're gonna have all kinds of nuts that are gonna be crying you know that I'm, that I'm mental so and two that gun is supposed to be representative of a real gun not it may not be a real gun but it is representative do you think I'd actually come at you with an airsoft gun I'm not that stupid I'd come at you with a real gun and I will come after you at a real gun if you ever try to instill a white, you know, a this white power idiocy over this country. Do not underestimate me. I would stand up with minorities against you. I would fight you tooth and nail until the very bitter end. Again, don't fuck with me. Now obviously a lot of you know if you watch my videos that I've been in a personal war um, a personal declaration of vendetta but it's a personal war against any white power movement white separatist movement white nationalist white supremacist basically again anybody of a white power movement I'm at war with now I get crap for this and not just from the white power people, but they do bring up an interesting point. Why are you only targeting us when there are other races out there, such as the black nationalism, you know, the Mexican, um, the Mexican um, supremacists, you know, like, you know, those things, and Asian supremacist groups, while there may not be a whole lot out there, any, but there are there, and even Arab nationalists. Well, I think it speaks for itself that I don't support those either. I do not support anybody that believes that their race or their particular group is superior to another. I just frankly think that's absolutely idiotic. Anybody that thinks that it doesn't matter whether you're black, whether you're Asian, Latino, Arab, Chicano, white, it doesn't matter. If you think that your race or your ethnic group is superior to anybody else's, you're retarded. Black nationalism, I don't view as anything more than being being racist itself. And I'm not talking about the old Black Panther Party. That the black, old Black Panther Party. Uh, while it had a black nationalist view, it had a Maoist view. It was more, they were anti-violence, they were anti-racist, everything else. However, the new Black Panther Party that has come up is not a Maoist group. It is, it, it's basically a play-along. It's a pseudo sort of group. And it, and it is a, and it is a racist group. It is racist. It does not advocate Maoism. It's very, it, that the new Black Panther Party is something I don't agree with. Now, if it had taken up the actual ideals of the 
original Black Panther Party, I'd be on board with it. But, yeah. But anything that advocates that any sort of supremacy, I'm not going to agree with. It's the same with any sort of gang, um, because we see them in California. I mean, we. I mean, it's obvious. There are gangs and cartels that view their gangs or any other gangs in Latin America that view themselves as being this being superior to everybody else. The, anybody that belongs to those types of groups is also retarded. It's the same with anybody, like especially with the Japanese um, belief that they have a, this superiority complex over the rest of Asia. I mean, that's retarded. And again, if you believe that you're... And then it, even down to the Arab nationalism. I mean, I'm sorry, but if you're an Arab nationalist, basically a lot... I mean, that whole thing with the Ba'ath Party, that originated from the, the Nazi Party. So, yeah, again, if you are a freaking, if you are a freaking, you know, skinhead or any other person that believes in that your race or ethnicity is of higher value or is superior to another, then I'm sorry, you are a fucking retarded motard. But, yes... My war is more directed towards the white power movement because, well, you are more of a threat to us than anything else. I mean, you're pretty much a terrorist group. And last time I checked, the United States government is at war with terrorists. Now, I'm not saying I add, that I'm supporting the United States government in any way. I mean, I basically rebel against the whole authority thing anyway. However, your whole concept of, you know, you, basically your whole concept of what how you present yourselves and how you deal in business and stuff like that is violence, intimidation, and hate, which is all the aspects of a terrorist group. You know, it, fascism by any other means is still fascism and terrorism and that's just how it is Nazism is a fascist terrorist or type of ideology now I also want to speak again on the whole issue of the national socialism first of all I'm a socialist and what you people represent is nothing of socialism so get rid of it out of your name because socialism advocates policy of equality, race, gender, ethnicity, the abolition of the class system, and basically the abolition of capitalism. It is also, while it does oppose, it does advocate the combat liberalism, and it's not, and it does not advocate against concert, and it hates conservatism. It is tolerant, obviously, towards communism because socialism is a transition from the capitalist to the communist state. Maybe you forgot to read that. And on a closing note, let me just also point out when you talk about how you, the day of your, that the day is coming where you basically are going to rise up because you say you've got police, military, and other different people and public officials that are going to unite with you to rise up and basically basically form a coup against the and rule the United States under your Nazi philosophy you know what go ahead because I'm going to fucking murder you all and overthrow you and form a true socialist country and not under your pseudo national socialist policy I mean true socialism let that be clear I'm NorCal Nick leader of the revolutionist movement and this has been NorCal Corner peace